hello friends welcome to communication skills for everyone today let us learn about uh, negro laborer in liverpool by david uh, rubadiri so mo- let us uh, begin about arthur james david rubadiri uh, was a malvian diplomat and academic poet playwright and novelist also rubadiri is ranked as one of the opera's most widely anthologized and celebrated poets to emerge after independence so rubadiri's poetry has been praised as being among the richest of the contemporary africa his work was published in the 1963 anthology modern poetry of africa other uh, by uh, east african publishers in 1996 again they republished lonco that is different issue and appeared in the international publication including uh, transition black orpheus and uh, presence of frisian so his only novel no bride prince was published in 1967 right this is about uh, the author uh, david uh, james david so let us uh, talk about uh, negro laborer in liverpool so david a negro laborer at liverpool right in this uh, uh, story what he talks right it talks about exam uh, ex- talks about the pathetic situation of the average negro the poet talks about how his individuality is suppressed in a white dominated society so he has turned out to be another dark shadow amidst dark shadows so the words are very meaningful here right the dark shadow and dark shadows right singular and plural so james david's a negro laborer in liverpool right strives to highlight the plight of a negro laborer in liverpool so here the definite indefinite article a uh, points right a negro so a uh, points to the lack of a specific identity so there is he doesn't have any specific identity they are just one among a group so one among a group or otherwise we can say one of the communities so who, who doesn't necessarily possess any individual identity so it's like uh, uh, one among all so they are labeled so they are given a uh, kind of labeled based on the work right based on the work they do and uh, the city or town from where they come from right so here based on their work or maybe the place where they are so based on that they are given the label so david right he also emphasizes at the indifferences of the society as a whole to the plight of the laborer as he states that he passes him so in this uh, story is a laborer right that's what he talks about he slashes on dark back street pavements his marginalization is evident in this position slouching right further it is also emphasized right is also highlighted in his uh, being side stepped on the pavements again the pavement is uh, qualified by the phrase dark back street so here also that is mentioned dark back street the head is bowed when it would have preferred to be straight he is overcome with uh, fatigue and totally exhausted there is no energy so he is a dark shadow amongst other shadows <laughs> he has no unique identity right he doesn't have any uh, special identity or recognition his life is not colorful so his life is not colorful that's what here it is used shadow shadow is dark that's what he is shadows so his life is not colorful negro's negro's life is not colorful the poet here right the poet james he also talks about he has lifted his face to the speaker as in as in acknowledgement right just their eyes met but on his dark negro face so the poet here refers to the reflection of the speaker's eyes in the eye of the laborer so just look at here speaker eyes in the eye of the eyes of the laborer so here the the eyes are for grounded on his dark face there is no sunny smile has uh, he waves a forlorn expression so the sun is important and recurrent motif in african poetry 
so a wise man once said that a man is poor if he doesn't have a penny he is poor if he doesn't possess a dream right it is interesting the laborer here neither has a hope nor longing so only the mechanical crowd dirt of eyes that is more mechanized that the impressive activity of the people right here people in their impassive people in their impassive fast forward life right the fast forward life fail to notice the labor because there is a uh, whole or busy with uh, their activity so that's what it is uh, fail to notice the laborer he painfully searches for a face to comprehend his uh, predicament acknowledges suffering right so he looks for the people to identify him but nobody is there so the eyes of the laborer expresses his uh, utter solitude and utter desperation right so he's uh, isolated so he is alone so the poet shifts from the indefinite article a uh, to the definite article the in addressing the negro laborer in the second stanza right when we look at the poet in the second stanza a uh, negro to the negro right the change it is to assert that and affirm the existence of the negro laborer in society like others so this indicates so is part of uh, it especially white men who live in society enjoying all privileges of life whereas the dog or the negro or not part of it so james david goes on to describe negro in terms of his motherland and in terms of his emotions a heart heavy so he bears a centuries oppression that had sought after an identity so here he strives to attain the fire of manhood he he attempts to get the fire of manhood but ironically even in the lord even in the land of the free right where uh, we call it england is the land of free so he is unable to attain the same so even in the land of free that is uh, called to be england where he is unable to uh, gain the same nevertheless the free here are also dead in a state of decay and uh, stagnation so the world we have land of the free but there is no where is the free it is in dead state right the state of decay and stagnation thus in this poem james david portrays the non human condition of africans in england right it says non human condition right they are not treated like humans that's what non human condition of africans in england where white people discriminate the black for their racial differences so that's what in the poem it talks about right james cameron talks about this is about uh, this is about the uh, negro this is about a negro laborer in liverpool thank you for watching subscribe communications skills for everyone for more videos